What's up, guys, and welcome to the Creative Palare. The Creative Palare podcast. And I'm your host, Morgan. Or you can call me Mo, because that's what I go by. Creative Mo, to be exact. Have you seen the channel name? Yeah, that's, that's what's happening. I'm by myself because I got the child to sleep finally, and now I can record, and the bay is at work. Either way, he wouldn't really understand what the hell I'd be talking about this time. Anyway, because. You know, we have two different lives, and he wants to have his own segment on his own channel that he has to start up, but I have to work on his logo, but I haven't because I've been doing other things because I can't keep my focus for life. Speaking of focus, that's better. Hopefully it stays on me. Now, first things first, the background. I've changed the background to, like, a vision board. I just have it like this temporarily. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it like this. Um, I got the idea from I, I Superwoman I, I on YouTube. I saw on her vlog where she put it together and we looked at it and she explained all the things that she had and why she had it like that. So let's see what it looks like because I honestly forgot. But I have my tablet here and I, you know, put all my documents over on here. Here we are. And I gotta find it. Here we are. So here I can tell you everything. From start to finish I can't exactly point to where it's gonna be on here because I think everything's inverted and I'm not really sure you know how well this is all gonna fit so first thing in the upper corner probably over there we got the Gymshark logo I have no if you don't know what a gym a uh, gym shark a uh, vision board is actually it's um basically like setting goals and like, I actually have her video in the description so that she can explain it to you better. But it's like a lot of things that you put up there as a visual representation of what you want in your life. And it helps you set goals. I feel like he wants to wake her up. He's going to wake up this guy and I'm going to beat his head in with a hammer. That's what's going to happen here. And my mom's going to be like, why did you, why did you do that? I'm like, because he woke Sky up while I was recording. That's what's going to happen. Alright, so a vision board is basically, you basically... Putting like goals up there and putting visual representation of what your goals are so you can look at them every day and hopefully mentally, visually manifest them or something like that. But either way, let's start. We have the Gymshark logo, actually probably right here. Now, I like the brand Gymshark. I don't have anything by the brand Gymshark, but I really want to because Gymshark is a brand with the prices that you only can afford when you've made it when you've made a little bit of it like if you just have a steady income of like just like not struggling af income that's what you get when you have gymshark you can pay for that stuff without even worrying oh that's a 50 dollar pair of leggings so you're like, oh it's just 50 dollars uh you know that's just barely a netflix bill or something i don't know it's it's wait whoa way more than netflix bill. i almost dropped my tablet but, you know, that's a brand I actually want to work with because I feel like I always look at the people that they have on Gymshark, which I'm going to get to the next person right there, I think, probably. But I watch the people that they support, and I'm like, I like the goals that those people set. And I feel like I want to work with them. I want to do shoots. I want to represent, help them represent their brand as, like, um, just really cool. Like, I feel like their designs and what they do and they put out there is very forward thinking like it's so in trend but it's not like in trend and like weird except for the ombre the ombres were a little bit bright for me i'm just like you know i'm a neutrals type of person so it was a little bright out there but you know for people who like that stuff it's like a very simple design you know bright colors or not they're like very forward thinking type designs and i really like what they look like and i've seen people work out in them i basically watch nikki blackheader all day long every time she posts well maybe not all day long but like every time she posts i'm definitely on it i've even binge watched her videos when i was done up to date and i've gone back you know i've just watched lots of her videos and i'm like i've seen how they perform and i haven't seen her underwear yet <laughs> that's kind of weird but you know she does a lot of squats so I really want to work with Gymshark. That's why Gymshark is on there. I also want to be able to afford and own Gymshark and have like a little Gymshark collection because they just look so nice. And they look like they perform and they look like they give you all the snatch in the world. So when I have all these gains that I got, it could be like great. Also, I feel like they need more chocolate. They need more, I'm not even chocolate. They need more caramel. They need some more melanin in their system. So I like to be the melanin that they provide in their system. Next one, we have Nikki Blackadder, probably right here. I'm looking at this. Um, 
I adore her, as you've seen, if you just heard me say that I've watched way too many of her videos to be a normal person at this point. <laughs> I just watch so many of her videos and I feel like her personality helps me feel like I'm not weird because I feel like we have very similar personalities, though she's a Pisces, I'm a Scorpio, but I feel like she's just so cool and down to earth and just so sweet and I'd like to work with her in some capacity or at least meet her. Going to a meet and greet, being able to go to a pop-up shop is good enough you don't have to work with me or anything I just think that she's awesome and I have done a video where I recreated some of her Instagram photos if you'd like to see that that's also linked in the description hopefully I remember but yeah she's just great like she has body goals like I feel like we'd have very similar body types or bodies if she were two inches taller because she's like 5'2 and I'm 5'4 but like she has such goals she's literally what drives me towards you know my goals and I think I'm almost there. I feel like I have un expe unrealistic expectations for my booty. But I really need to work on my abs. But I'm still out there thinking that my butt's going to look like Kim K. Even though I'm not sure what's happening with Kim K. I think her butt's probably not muscle. But it's probably fat. Or I don't know about if she's ever actually done any like implants or anything. But it might be more fat than it is muscle. Whereas mine's is mainly muscle. I don't know how how, how much muscle I can build to like realistically. You know. But she keeps me, you know, mellow from, like, going to get implants that I know I don't want. <laughs> and the next thing, my tablet cut off me, how dare you, is money. You see this big old splash of money right there? That represents me trying to get me and my goal to be financially stable. I want to be financially stable and not have to worry about anything. I don't have to, have to worry about what I'm going to eat. I don't want to have to worry about where I'm going to go and do this. I want to be able to have everything that I need. I don't want. I don't need. To, I don't want to worry about having a little bit of money left over just in case. You know, I want to have the amount of financial stability that I don't have to worry about keeping money to decide because everything that I have like my bills and my food is covered and then I have plenty that I don't really need to worry about having any leftover because it's just it's, it's a given that I'm gonna have some leftover if I'm not you know spending like a freaking maniac which I do not plan to do when I get financially stable maybe like hauls or something because I like those but like mainly for review purposes but not like because I'm crazy you know and this right here I think I don't I said I was gonna do this pointing thing but I'm doing it anything when do I I see in a monitor YouTube. I don't see YouTube. I mean, I see green screen. I don't see YouTube. But I see on here YouTube. So, YouTube. I want to get at least 100,000 subscribers. That's so low to some people. That's so low. But I feel like that's the breaking point. I watched a Casey Neistat video that said, um, I'll also try and link that in the description if I can figure out which one of those videos it was. That he said um, that the hardest thing to get to is a hundred thousand getting to a million wasn't the hardest but getting to a hundred thousand was extremely hard and extremely slow and I feel that because I think he also said that getting to a hundred was even slower because I'm almost to 100 subscribers but like it's a slow slow creep like five years of somewhat taking this seriously I've been taking it seriously more so in the past two years and I've seen the little bit of climb it's slow and it makes me like discouraged but I know that I love doing this so much like I brought uh, I've literally gone out of my way to get a green screen and lights while well, I guess I asked my mom to give me them and she did for Christmas but you know what I'm saying like I love this so much and I'm gonna willing I'm gonna be willing to take that slow crawl up to it but I want to get at least a hundred thousand subscribers because if I'm reaching 100,000 people, I know I have a duty to do something good with my life to be the best motivation and, like, representation of what, you know, I need to do something good, you know? I need to set a good example. That's what I'm looking for. I want to add more melanin into the big saturatedness that is YouTube. I want to... I want to put more out there and I want to be a breakthrough in some way in someone's life. Oh wow, this is going to be, this, this podcast may be more so about the vision board than anything else. So I might have to record another one depending on the baby's sleep, you know. And then, um, 
Okay, I'll go back over here. But yeah, I want to get a hun at least 100,000 subscribers. I'd love to get a million, but I'm not shooting that high right now. I'm not going to do that to myself because that is a long way to go when I'm not even at 100. So Over here, we have this black t-shirt. Why is there a black t-shirt in your vision board? Because I, for some reason, have this feeling in my soul that I really want merch. Why? It's not because of the money. It's just I feel like... I have a design that I specifically want on the t-shirt. Like, I see so many people's merch designs, and I'm like, wow, it'd be so cool if you did this, or it'd be so cool if you did this. And why are the prices like this? Like, I want to have, like, a merch t-shirt line that is affordable. Like, actually affordable, not $30. Not any more than $25. It's, like, it's ridiculous at that point. Because you can buy bulk t-shirts at $2 per shirt. So why the hell is that shirt... $20. I, I mean, really, it's the people they work with that's taking up all that money and sucking it into their business, you know? I mean, of course, you have people working and you have to pay workers, but at this point, like, I feel like it's very, un it's not as personal. It feels like it just, it just hurts because the profit margin for them is just so much higher than it takes to make the actual shirt, you know? So I want to be able to make my own affordable merch line because I just feel like I would love to see the things that I draw on a shirt. Like, you know, a little pocket tee or something. Something cute like that. You know how they have little designs pocket peeping out of pockets and stuff? I think those are so cute and they can be made so much better and so much more creatively. And I'm thinking with whatever I do, whatever I develop, my humor and whatever inside jokes we make, I'd love to see them on a shirt. So that's why that is on my vision board because I would love to have a t-shirt design. Like, I just think it's so cute and I would love to give them away for free or just have them be like a reasonable price. I feel like they cannot be more than $25. They cannot. There's no reason at that point. Like, I'm not doing embroidery. I would love to do embroidery. That's going to cost some money though. But I like to do the screen print because I know that it's cheaper and it's like it gets the it gets the um, point across. But the um, embroidery would definitely last longer. But it's going to be a very complicated thing because my designs are going to be complicated. And the next thing right here, I think, um, that is an office building. Probably I don't know. It looks like the nicest building you could ever go into. I want my own business. I want to start my own business and I want it to be a physical location, not run inside of my house and not run completely online. I want my own location that looks nice and posh so people can go to work and they'll be like, ooh, I had this nice fancy office job because that's what I want right now. Right now I want a nice fancy office job. I don't want to work at Walmart. I don't want to work at Amazon. I don't want to work at a restaurant. I want to own my own business or at least work in a business that looks like it has some serious ish going on and that you can be proud to go, oh, I'm going to work. Would you like to see my office? Bam! It's just shiny and beautiful and it's nice and it looks nice and it smells nice and it's clean and it's nice and I get to wear a skirt and look nice and go to work and it's nice, 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 nice. Um, you know, I want to start a business because I do actually kind of want a production company. But I'm not sure exactly what direction I want to go in. I feel like I want to go into every direction. And I also have like a gym somewhere in the background because I just love the gym. And like I feel like if I can go to my own gym after work and not even have to leave the building, that's sick. It's sick, man. And anybody who wants to do like gym videos, they can because we have like a gym. And if you work there, and you, it's just so much. Because have you ever have you ever seen Matthias? Matthias has his own production company, and I want it to be something similar to like that, but not exactly. Not so cut and dry where it's based off of YouTube and videos. I want it to be so many different, different things. Yes. And one that's probably behind me is right here. That is an easel with a blank canvas. The blank canvas is just because I felt like I didn't want to infringe on anybody's art, but also I want my art to be more recognizable. I don't necessarily need anybody to, like commission me or anything I, it would be nice if you like me would you want to commission me i don't know where, how that works i don't know how to set that up but I, if you like my art because i've been adding i've been posting more of it on my channel but that represents me wanting to get better at art and getting my art out there and also my comics i want to get better at making them but i of course need more materials i don't have a drawing tablet i literally just go off of my tiny ass phone well my phone's in is a S9 plus I think but it's it's pretty small compared to like a, t a computer screen it has very limited things but I've been making the most out of it but it's really hard and really like 
exhausting to try and draw in detail and make sure everything's proportionate because you can't because it's just hard because I'm using my finger and not like a pen. But I would, that just signifies me trying to get better at my art and just, you know, getting out there with my art as well. Just like being more recognized for my art. Just because I love it. I love it so much and I like to take it more seriously. And this right here, that is Japan, I think. It's right here in this area. That's Japan. I want to go to Japan. I really want to go to Japan. I wanted to move to Japan at one point. But I'm like, that's really, going to be really hard to just, like, do, you know? Because it's like, you got to learn language, you got to learn the kanji, you got to learn all that. Learning the language now, I'm self-studying, self-studying, self-teaching myself. Um, I, I started in high school, I took a break because of life and circumstances, and there wasn't a lot of time where I was sitting down just, like, at a desk. So I didn't stop to, like, during parts of schoolwork where I wasn't actually doing anything, where there was free time to learn Japanese, like... There's no time, so I have to make time myself. So I started up again this year. So I want to go to Japan. I really want to go to Japan. If I could ever get to the point of learning this language well enough to live in Japan, I would. But I feel like Japan might also be slightly racist, and I don't want to die. No. No. And that one, that is a dumbbell. Those are dumbbells. Those are multiple dumbbells. I want to get my fitness up to... Uh, like, like, I want my body fat percentage to be low I want Bay to get into the gym with me because you know working out with people is so fun and I'd love to work out with him also he's getting very big I love him and I don't care if he even gets to 400 pounds I'll still love him but like I feel like it'd just be so much better to bond in the gym because I love the gym so much and I like people who can push me but I don't have many friends who live in state anymore. So, well, I guess she's visiting, but you know, you know, I just think it'd be cool if we get into the gym. Also, I'd like to hit goals. I like to be snatched. I'd like to be like 10% body fat. Actually, I like I like a little bit of body fat. Being too muscular, I probably like cry. I don't know. I just feel like it looks painful to be super muscular, <laughs> but I know it's not. It's just like you have less fat, so you can see more. But I feel like I'm ripped, but you can't really see it. So I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to that, you know, and you know what I'm saying. She know I'm saying. She know. I'm okay. Um, and over here, right here, this area right here, you can see it. That is a modern home. That is a sick house. That is a great house. It got a pool. It's got all these rooms. It's well lit. It's so modern. It looks so chic. It looks great. I want a house. I want my own house with my family and nobody else unless they visited and then they can leave. I want my house. I want a house. I want to live in my own. I didn't put a car on here. I just realized. But that's fine. There's going to be a garage. You can assume there's a garage in there somewhere. You know, I want to live in a nice house. I want it to be decorated to myself. I want it to be spacious, but not too spacious where I feel wasteful. I'm like, why am I taking up all this space? And there are people in Africa, there's whole list of people that they don't have enough space. And I'm taking all this space. And, you know, I, I wanted a nice, spacious home that's spacious, but not like wastefully spacious where I'm not putting anything there, you know? I want a nice home for my family to grow up in so I can have his kids, all the kids in the house and not feel cramped. I like, I want a nice home where I, if I have to work out of it, I can have like a little office where I check my emails in the morning. Then I go to my actual job, which is right here maybe. And you know, I want a house. I want a nice house, a good investment house. Like if I build it from the ground up or if I buy it and then start working on it, I want a nice house. And then right here, where my chair is kind of blocking. Let me move it. All right? You can, you can see enough, right? Right there? This area? Somewhere. That is Miami, Florida. I want to visit Miami, Florida. I wanted to live there for a very long time. I've never been there, but I wanted to live there. It was in my soul. It was either there. <laughs> it was either there, Boston, London, or Japan. Like, I don't know. I've never been to any of these places. I don't even know anything about Boston, but I, I had Boston in there because for some reason I convinced myself that Boston and London were very similar in accents, but they're not. But I really want to go to Miami so much, like, in my heart, like a vacation, something nice. I would like to go and visit. I don't want to live there anymore because I know that we have our um, hearts set on Georgia. Why? I'm not really sure. 
probably something to do with high rent store deals. I don't know. But yeah, I want to go to Miami. And then right here, that is E3. That is clearly an E3. I'd like to go to E3. Bay has wanted to go to E3 for a very long time. Entertainment Expo. There are a lot of E's in E3, and I forgot one of them. Entertainment. Electronic Entertainment Expo? I think so. I think so. Um, I'd like to go because I love, I love gaming. People don't know this, but I love gaming. I just don't have time to game. I have responsibilities, and they small, and they cry, and they tear down lights fixtures. So, I can't game. They also like to slam and drool on com controllers, so I can't game. There's not time. Every time I'm doing anything that's not to do with them, they cry. So, this is why I don't game. But I like gaming so much. I love to see the new stuff. I'd like to see other people with like minds. I may not be as knowledgeable because I've been basically busy either studying or having a child. <laughs> But I love gaming, and I know Babe would love to go to E3, and I'd love to make that a thing for him, but we have to get there or something. We have to get financially stable, which is that money one right there. You know, we gotta get financially stable. But, uh, we, I wanna go there. I really do. I've, I've seen so many people go to places, but E3 has been like one of those places that you really wanna go, because there's just so much. I'm so tired. And then the last one, that's clearly people getting married and they're black and I had to find a black person. Um, all the other ones were kind of ghetto, so this is the best picture I could choose that made me happy. It looks like a wedding I'd like to have. I'd like to get married. I'd like to get married. But, you know, this right here, that that's probably still the money, I think. It might be. Um, that's a little hard to make a nice wedding, you know, happen and I'd like to get married. I'm just saying, we're very poor, and I'd like to get married. I'd like to do all these things. These are very awesome goals. I'd like to put a car in there, but I feel like all these other things are way more important to it than a car. Maybe maybe not, but I'd like a car. I didn't put it in there. Like a Mustang or something. Mm, vroom, vroom. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. This went on a little longer than I anticipated. I thought I was going to talk about some of the other things on this thing, but I just all over this. So I might be making another one, so if I wear the same shirt, which I'm probably going to change just so you guys don't even think about it. I hope you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to hear more of me talking, or any of my dream, or you want to follow me through this journey, and help me get to 100 subscribers, so then we can actually get to 100,000 subscribers, and we can sh on all the competition. I know. I, I like to, I like to, I like to change lives, or something, I don't know, what do you say? I don't know. I have, it's hot as shit. Uh, it's hot as crap because you're not supposed to cuss on YouTube or something like that. I don't know. But I'm gonna go. Bye bye!